Okay, quick, quick, a fish just came up. I want him. <laughs> wait a minute, relax. No, no. Relax. No, no, you know, you just wait a minute. If a trout rises, I own him, okay? <laughs> you, in your yeah, dream. Yeah, no, no, every time. Give me a shot at him, that's all I want. All right, well, what are you gonna use here? Short leg wiggler. A short leg wiggler, it's like a little rubber legs here. It is, it's Kinda an attractor. Bit. With a short leg wiggler, the aspect of attraction that we're talking about is width. And what the w rubber legs do, is they not only stick way out to the side, but because the hackle is trimmed flat in the bottom, they're out on that water, giving them a little bit of movement. They're it's creating movement. It's creating a puller. Image. Yeah, it creates a real image, and it, it, it's a puller. It'll pull the fish. That fish is rising, Jack. I want him. <laughs> Give me my I, I, Let me check the knot. <laughs> check the knot. Yeah, it looks so good. Well, maybe a wind knot here. If, if, I, if, I rip, <laughs> if I rip this hard, I'll take a chunk of flesh out of your hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. If, I don't go. if I don't go get them, Chester's going to I got to be here. I got to be your eyes here. I'm, okay. I worry about you. Okay. As a matter of fact, you look real close at that fish. When he comes up, you see he has my name on the back of his spots. <laughs> I'll look. All right. We're a little bit off to the right, but we're in the ballpark. Yeah. I said Whoa. we're in the ballpark. <laughs> yeah, you're in, the, you're in the weeds, too. I'm ballpark the, or not. We missed that one clean, didn't oh. we? Oh, boy. Here, you need a, I know you need a keeper ah. here. Oh. Uh. What, was I, what was I doing, Jack? <laughs> you were asleep. Had my thumb in my ear or what? Yeah, you were asleep. That's uh, all right. Now, I, I think everybody should know that we, we too, can miss fish. Like lots of them. <laughs> like, like, like anybody else. Yeah, but that was such a solid take. I don't know why I. You know, every them. time we do a fly tag seminar. All right, he came up it. again. He came up again. There he is. Boom, boom. Look at him. He's right on the surface. Ready? Wait go. Wait You want a weed on there? I don't care. He'll take the weed. <laughs> go. Go. <laughs> Duck for it, baby. All We're right, going for right. him. Chester, get out of my line. He'll haul you out in the middle of that river. All right. Ooh, looks good. That's, no, it's too far unless he comes no, no. over. He, there was one right. There. Yes, there's one right there. Right there. He's, he's been breaking the surface. He's been coming through. There he is. There he is. Oh! All right. Jeez. Automatic. All right. Come to me, mama. I love this game. Oh. I'm just standing on your line. That's all. Don't worry about it, Jack. When he rips off, he's going to get it around your ankle and pull you out in the middle of the river. I deserve it. <laughs> all right. Get the net off. This. This river is so great. Oh, it's terrific. I mean, we well, can about wind, Gary. You know, it's a windy day today. What's well, we, that going to do our attraction? Well, first of all, that's where you'd want the tractor because, especially when it's sitting flush, because it's not going to be played on by the wind. It's not going to be pushed and shoved or whatever, so he's more likely to come up. All right, come for it, baby. Chester loves it. All right, again. <laughs> Chester loves it when they jump. Stubborn, <laughs> stubborn. All right. Ooh. Jack, this fish has an attitude, I'm telling you. Yes, he does. Can be bad at times, can't it? Big bad brown. Well, I like the rubber legs. I like a fly with rubber legs. I think it creates an image of a live insect. You know, and that's different than any other fly that we have. Exactly. Exactly. Rubber moves. Right. And it is that movement that always indicates life and creates excitement. You know, other than marabou, there's very few feathers that do create that uh, image. Oh, whoa, whoa. whoa. Nice. flex with it, baby. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> They're fast. They react fast, and you got to dip to them fast. Hang on, buddy. That's 6X tippet out there. <laughs> Come back to me. Come back. All right. Have it your way. Okay, I think we're gonna get down a little below him. These browns in the green. Whoa, come back here. <laughs> down boy, down boy, another nice brown. There's so many of them in this riffle. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there's 500 fish, and I don't wanna make this as an advertisement for the green, but uh, it sure well, sure well could stand as one. Oops. Got him? Well, if I can get... <laughs> oh, yeah, there. there we go. Okay, kiss the fish. Be nice. Kiss the fish. This is a pattern called the wiggler. 
it follows our recurrent theme. It's a lot of fun. Now this fly is dedicated to the most creative man that I know, Jack Dennis. What I did was I tried to devise a fly that would be perfect for the one fly contest. Now it's never been used in the one fly, at least not yet. I have fished in the one fly as a participant. I've guided in it ever since that first year. I love the fun and camaraderie of the event. What I tried to do was to pick out the perfect attractor, one that I thought would consistently catch fish and rack up points per se. And it's not because it's a contest, it's because it is fun. So let's start with the short leg wiggler. Start in, tying in a hackle, this is gonna be palmered, and it will be stubbled. And one of the materials that really add to its allure. Again, closed cell foam. I'm gonna tie it a little bit different this time. I used this in a lot of ways, had a lot of fun with it. We simply tie it in by one end, run our thread forward. We take the foam and wrap it. Now it's important not to wrap it too tight. This is closed cell foam. That obviously on a dry fly adds to the buoyancy. If you wrap it too tight, you squeeze those bubbles out of there and you destroy the buoyancy. So just get it loosely wound around that hook shank. Tie it off at the appropriate spot. I'm gonna trim the stubs. Before I palmer my hackle, I can make this any color that I want. Pink, I love hot pink. Red, blue, green, nice lime green certainly works well. That would be the color, by the way, that I would pick for the one fly contest. And I color that foam. You still have the translucency, but now especially with this red, You have fire. I now palmer the hackle. Leaving a pretty good spacing. This just adds color variegation. I don't want it to block out the color of that body. I just want it to segment it. So I go ahead and clip the fibers short, leaving a stubble. My feeling, and I've used the fly on other rivers besides the snake, is that it would pull fish all day long. It would be a very consistent attractor. It's also a very good fly to fish dry, then pull under on a swing and work back as a streamer or a wet fly. Because of the foam, you don't have to make a lot of false casts to dry it off. Pop it right back out there and it floats again like a cork. At this point, we decide whether to make this a full wing or a half wing wiggler. High vis, what is it? it? Looks like some form of antron, a very fine antron. Ed Story from National Feathercraft called me up and said, Gary, you have to try this. I've been using it on some of your flies like the Lady Heather. He sent it to me. I went ahead and used it for the double wing. I've also used it for the Lady Heather. I've also used it for the Wiggler. Now this is the Wiggler hair. 
and this is the one it seems to work best on. You can tie it in either half or full. So we have the half wiggler and the full wiggler. The half wiggler, you would tie it in at this point in the construction. I'm not gonna do that for a moment. I'm gonna tie the full wiggler for this one. To do that, you tie in your rubber legs, three of them, three sets. Lay the band across, figure eight it in. They don't have to be perfectly straight. They don't have to be perfectly in line. We're actually gonna use the hackle to position these in a moment. So three bands. Now it's a little bit different from other rubber leg flies in that I don't want these bands to just clump together when this is on the water. I want them to stand separate. And so we devised a way to make them stand separate. In other words, we wanted them to wiggle. And our third. So you figure eight in your three bands of legs and they come out to the sides. So you have six legs, three on each side. Again, just figure eight them in. Don't be afraid to tug them around, pull them around. And don't worry about getting them perfectly set up out at right angles. That is not critical on this. I don't think it's critical on any fly, but it's certainly, I'll guarantee it's not critical on this one. Yes, dance, little legs. Pull this one into line. Wrap it up. And then pull this other one into line and we are set. We now have our six legs ready to go. Okay. Run the thread back into the point where you'd be tying off the wing. Don't cut the wings at the exact the legs at the exact length. Go ahead and trim off the excess so it doesn't get in the way. I'll show you the length that we want them. We actually call this the short leg wiggler. We don't want the very long legs because that would discourage smaller fish. And that's even fish up to 10, 12, 13 inches that you do want to catch in a normal fishing day. So you don't want to discourage those. There we go. Pull them into shape. Now, the way we separate those legs to keep them from clumping together and losing that individual dance that they do, we tie in our two head hackles. This particular color pattern, I'm gonna tie in a brown and the grizzly. Two different color head, head hackles because you want that variegation. Run forward to the front. Gonna cut off my hackle stems. We had the very, very distinct pleasure of trying this fly and the others on the Green River. We wanted to see how attractors would work on a tailwater. Those fish can get pretty jaded. Thank God every one of them did work and we did manage to catch the fish. Had a lot of fun doing it. Take the hackles. I like to wrap them separate. One behind and then one wrap of hackle between each set of legs. The hackle will be the separation between them. And then your hackle pliers breaks. The tip off your hackle and you start over again.
Here we go. First the brown one, one behind, and then one wrap between each set of legs. Those hackles, of course being high quality rooster, are stiff. They keep the legs from clumping up. There we go. And pull it up in front. Tie it down. And then do the same thing with a grizzly. The final bit of a lure. The rubber legs hanging out on the water. Grizzly, wrap, one behind, one wrap each time in between. Let's force them in between there, just pull them out of the way. Rubber is pretty tough, so you can tug it and pull it and get it to where you want it to sit before you finally fasten it down. Clean it up a bit. Throw a half hitch. I do that almost out of nervous habit. Take your scissors, trim the hackle fibers on top. You want to make a flat bed for the high-vis wing. So just trim those off. You leave the ones in the sides and you leave the ones in the bottom. High vis wing. Do not make a long straggling wings. Probably repeated that a few times, but I don't like wings that go well beyond the bend of the hook. I seem to have a much lower hooking percentage when I do that. Lay that high vis wing right down in the middle. Use your fingers to pull back the fibers. Beautiful, at least in the eye of the beholder. Be able to see this fly from 50 yards away. Here's the reflection that you can see. I think the high vis does add to the attraction. It's a very strong color. Make a fairly neat head. Whip finish it. Our last step is we're going to trim the legs. Now we call it the short leg wiggler because we found that long legs tend to lower our percentage of hookups. You want the legs to come out slightly beyond the hackle. And the hackle for a size 10 was a so standard size 10 hackle. So just slightly beyond it. Again, you're not looking for perfection on where they lay, but you don't want them too long. And that is the Wiggler. Full version. Short leg. In tribute to Jack Dennis. Totally unpredictable fly, but effective. 
and certainly fun.